All right, so now it's time to do some comment editing. That is updating a comment and or deleting that same comment. And guess what? We're gonna do it all in one place. Um, so what that means is we're gonna be using mix-ins. This is a really good opportunity to talk about mix-ins, um, both from the updating standpoint, as well as um, the destroy standpoint. So using mix-ins in addition to what we already and it's fairly straightforward on how to do it. So initially what we're gonna do is just copy our detail view. So it's gonna be virtually the exact same thing as this detail view. And I'm gonna paste it underneath and I'm just gonna call it edit. And we're gonna change this to being the comment edit API view. And again, edit. Do note that delete will be an option here. Um, instead of having a full URL specifically for delete, instead it will just be a method inside of the edit, which kind of makes sense, right? If you're gonna edit something, you almost should be able to delete it at the same time. Um, of course, you could do two different URLs for that specifically, but we're gonna leave it as one. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this view now inside of our comment API views. So let's go ahead and bring it in here. I'm gonna put it right underneath our retrieve API view. So class, comment edit API view, and we're actually gonna use the retrieve API view to start out. The query set is gonna be a little different. This time we're gonna use comment.objects.filter ID greater than or equal to zero. Um, so this is basically filtering all of the comments where this all we changed it with our model manager to being only the parent comments. So now what we want in this view is to be able to have all of the comments so that they can all be edited. I'm gonna use that default comment detail serializer. Keep that in here. And let's make sure with, that we imported this into our URLs. We did not. So comment edit API view, save that. Let's make sure our server's running. Syntax was uh, corrected and all that, very good. So now let's go ahead and do six, ID of six, that's the first one. We'll do six and edit. We go in here and this is the edit view. Of course, right now it's just a detail view. We didn't do anything or it's a retrieve view. So let's go ahead and import some of our mixins. First of all, we want to go from rest framework .mixins, import. We are gonna import the destroy API mixin. Excuse me, that's gonna be the destroy model mixin and then also the update model makes in. And of course, if you ever forgot those things, you could look inside of the model, uh, or excuse me, the documentation. We've got update and destroy. So they have their own methods, and what we're gonna be doing is just implementing those methods. So if we just left it as, if we actually imported these, so, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, and I'm gonna paste it in side right above the retrieve API view. Oops, this is actually on the wrong one. We wanna put it on the comment edit. We're gonna put it right here and save that. So this is what makes sense do, is it allows you to have new methods into a class-based view. Again, if class-based views are not that, if you don't understand them that well, definitely check out joincfe.com slash projects. We have a full series, it's like 24 videos long, uh, that will actually go into all the things about class-based views that will clear up some of this stuff. Um, but once we actually implement the mix-in, like we did here, and we go back into our edit view, we don't actually see any of the options available to us. And that's because we actually have to implement the methods for them. So define put, which is the update method, and we'll do self, request, args, and keyword args. And then we're gonna return self.update. This self.update is coming from the mixin itself. De define put is giving the API view, any sort of API view, that method as a, 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 a now approved method. It's a safe method for that view. So in other words, if I did de define put here, I could actually define a put function that will handle any sort of put that is coming through or the put method that's coming through. And you can do that again on any of your API views. So self.update is a built-in method that the update model mixin has. And we have to have something to actually call it. In this case, it's using the put you know, the put method. So request args and keyword args. 
sorry about going back and forth on the different kinds of methods. Put is an HTTP method, whereas self.update is a Python method. Um, so they're just different kinds of methods, but put is related to CRUD, right? Update, right? It's a type of method that you actually are gonna be doing. Um, so if that's not clear, please let us know in the comments below because we would love to make sure that it is. So basically this is all you have to do. You just have to in input that one thing to have update work. And if we go back into here, we see if I refresh in here, I now have a way to actually update a specific comment. Notice I can change the comment, the content type as well as the object ID, which is stuff that I probably don't wanna change. I all really just wanna change the actual content itself. So that means our serializer will need to change it, but I'm not gonna worry about that quite yet. The next one is we have to implement the delete HTTP method, and it's gonna take in self request args and keyword args, and it's not much different, but now instead of uh, return self.update, it's gonna return self.destroy, because it's the destroy model mix in, and again, it's request args and keyword args. So um, the API views themselves, so like the uh, destroy API view already has this implemented. So all you really have to do is implement these things. So the mixins are just like pieces of those full API views. And it's true about the retrieve API view as well. So for example, if we decided to use the um, update API view here, instead of the retrieve API view, what we would have to do instead then is use git and then use the retrieve model mixin. Um, so that's also an option. Cool, so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and check it out. And we go back in here, we refresh, we see that we can delete it. That's great. Um, so the next thing is I wanna be able to edit, let's say this one, so it's an ID of eight. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, paste in eight here, and boom, it's allowing me to make edits to eight as well. Um, versus just going to eight, if I just type out eight, it's gonna say detail not found. So that's because we are only showing, as far as the comments are concerned, for a thread, we're only showing the parent threads, right? So now that we've got this, this is a really good start, but there is some other things that we wanna do, and that's updating our serializers to be a more appropriate for what they are. So in serializers, the comment serializer, or excuse me, the comment detail serializer, we might wanna change this um, for comment ed edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and paste this underneath here and do comment edit serializer. And in here, I don't need the replies, right? I don't need any of that. I also don't need the ID, content type, object. All I really need is content. So I'm going to, I'll keep the ID in just for now, but I'm gonna leave in content and then I'll also leave in the timestamp. Get rid of the rest of it. And now that's our comment edit serializer. I'm gonna copy this, bring it into our view from our serializers and there we go. Copy that and bring it down back into our edit. Come back in here and let's make sure the server's running. Got a little error on the serializer stuff. Let's make sure everything's saved. Comment edit serializer. There we go, all the errors go away. Now we also wanna to go to, a, we wanna make a URL for the detail view at some point too. Uh, but if I go in here and then go to edit, it just allows me to edit just the content. It's not allowing me to do anything else. So yet another comment, we hit put and it updates that comment. If I go back into the list or the thread, it updates that comment. So I could also delete it, of course, being that it's the parent, we go in here, delete it. Um, and this is also gonna delete the, the, the replies, eight and seven. So reply here twice. Let's see what, that ha what happens there. I go to delete. Let's go ahead and delete it. And if I refresh in here, it's gonna say detail not found. If I try to go to seven, it's also gonna say detail not found. Um, so the reason it deleted all the other ones is it works very similar to the admin and it has to do with the foreign key. So if we go into our comments and we see here, as soon as there's a foreign key relation here and I delete the other one, that comment will go away. So notice that it says five, of course. Um, so let's actually go ahead and create a new comment. So comments, comments create, and we wanna make sure that we have um, a blog post that we can actually work with. So my title is the slug. And we'll say slug equals to my title and type equals to post. 
right? So we got that. And then let's go ahead and bring in our comment and say, hi there, hit post. And we get this error, not a valid content type. Um, of course, I have to make sure I press enter on the request or the get request that's there. So I say hello and we make another comment basically. And now I'm gonna use parent ID and parent ID equals to 10. And then we'll make another one, another comment, exclamation mark, post, there we go, list. We see ID and we've got parent of null there we, and that's what we want. Let's go ahead and look at that one and we see a reply there. Okay, cool, so all that stuff's working. And again, if we wanted to delete that, we would go into edit and then we could go ahead and delete it. And this would allow us to delete it, but it would also delete all of the replies. Um, so that is something to note right there. Now I'm gonna stop here and question something about the way we've designed this. Now the big thing here is we have the detail view as well as edit API view. Now part of me thinks that maybe the detail view should also have all this stuff and we just have to handle permissions for each detail view. So the only thing that they would be able to edit then is the content, that's it. They would not be able to edit replies or the count obviously, or these other things. So perhaps that is actually what we should do is the detail view or the detail endpoint should be detail, the retrieve, edit as well as delete um, or update as well as delete. And that should all be in one spot and we just have to change things just slightly to make sure that that's the case. Um, so in the next one, we'll talk about some read only fields and how to actually implement that so then we can finally put in some URLs everywhere so everything's linked up pretty well. If you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.